Um, let's well, let's talk about the deposit itself. Can you can you sort of walk us through the details of, of where you're at with that and what you're seeing? So uh, we are the project's located 180 kilometers or so as the crow flies north of Red Lake, Ontario, uh, just east of the uh, Manitoba border. Uh, this is a, a new area for um, for lithium. Uh, the mineral that hosts our lithium on our project, called the Pack Lithium Project, is called spodumene. And spodumene is the preferred mineral uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for lithium as it hosts the highest lithium grades out of any mineral on the planet. On our project, uh, we have had four discoveries to date, two of which are deposits outcropped at surface. They make up a roughly 42 million tons in total of roughly one and a half percent lithium oxide grade. So that resource, in fact, is the highest grade uh, lithium resource in North America. And uh, the two deposits are what we call open in all directions. So the ability to continue to grow the resource is very high. Uh, we've assembled 27,000 hectares over roughly 65 kilometer uh, strike length. Uh, we're really excited uh, this year uh, to be uh, investing roughly uh, $10 million onto the project. Oh, wow. Pure exploration activities. So that includes for the first time, you know, walking the land or taking that greenfields perspective. To date, we've really been focused on, on the discoveries uh, that are outcrop. Those two deposits I'd like to add are located only 2.3 kilometers away from each other. So uh, so it's really, really exciting. Uh, it's going to be a very, very active year. Uh, tremendous upside. Uh, our spodumene is the lowest iron spodumene in North America. And iron is a key proxy for impurity. So this is the cleanest uh, lithium resource. Uh, and really, when you think about industrial minerals and chemicals business or lithium salts work that are required for batteries, quality pays and quality is a key metric uh, as well as size and grade that are required again as what we call anchor resource uh, for for North America. So this is a really important resource uh, for this uh, value chain that we uh, we plan on contributing to. When is the uh, drilling program beginning? We uh, actually uh, very soon will be uh, firing up the drills. We had an active winter uh, this past uh, winter. Uh, we actually have just brought a second diamond drill to site as well. So to date, you know, we've drilled 15, only 15,000 meters have been drilled uh, within uh, the two deposits. Uh, we'll be drilling at least that this year in 2022. Uh, so uh, very shortly, uh, those drills will be fired up again for the remainder of the year. Do you get the sense, you kind of touched on earlier, and I wanted to circle back, you said every level is a government. Do you get the sense now that finally there is, there is that support, that, that governments, you know, it's kind of we're eliminating which party supports what industry and all that stuff. Do you find that in, especially in your stream, that that's now getting eliminated and it's, it's just a, it's a matter of how they're going to do it. Not if. Spot on, you know, uh, we, when you think about lithium, uh, it's really a party agnostic. There isn't a political party that hasn't realized. I, I heard a metric last week from the Ontario mining association on polling across the country for support for mining. And, uh, uh, you know, I forget the particulars, but uh, the, the comment back was in the last 100 years, or as long as polling has been conducted, so safe to say the last 20, 30 years, that the support for mining across the country is at the highest level ever. Yeah. So uh, that, 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 that loose metric is, is not going unnoticed. And again, party agnostic. Yeah. Uh, when you think about, you know, lithium, huge opportunity as, you know, currently there's no lithium production in North America. So we're not, we're not talking about, you know, uh, uh, commodities that have uh, supply chains, 
that have been built and uh, over over a uh, hundred years ago. This is a great opportunity with the transition to get it right. To 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 uh, you know we have a public that realizes uh, that the metals are essential for the technology that is relied upon, whether it's the lithium in the smartphone glass on uh, on your phone. Uh, many don't know it, but there's more lithium in the glass on the phone than there is also in the battery. I didn't know so, that. Um, so, you know, these are, uh, uh, this technology is essential to uh, every North American, everyone globally, their lives and their livelihoods. So uh, this connection is being under well understood by the mass uh, of the requirement for mining uh, with regards to uh, technology and, you know, ultimately pursuing a greener planet that, you know, everyone uh, is aligned on. Um, so, uh, so that's, 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 that's really exciting for us uh, that all of these things, again, are converging uh, at the right time for us uh, with, you know, the highest quality highest grade lithium resource again and the greatest market in the world. So really excited.